Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 245 or 245 music tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and then use incident detection and then Garmin assistance. So incident detection and Garmin assistance are two features that are very new. And what they do is add the ability for your watch to alert your emergency contacts. First, if an emergency incident is detected, such as you fall down or something like that. And then second, if you request assistance via the watch. So all of this is set up via the Garmin Connect app. So we'll first need to get out our phones and then make sure that we have the Garmin and Connect app installed. Once you're in the Garmin Connect app, you'll need to open the menu by selecting the three lines in the top left and then scroll down and select safety slash tracking. In there, you'll see incident detection and assistance. If it's your first time, you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. So just accept that. And to set it up, basically you need to make sure that the information right here is correct about you. And then you need to add some emergency contacts. You can have up to three emergency contacts. Now these people will be contacted via text message and email if an incident occurs or you request assistance. So go ahead and select add emergency contacts. Now you can add contacts one of two ways by selecting this little three dots in the top right. You can either choose to use your phone contacts or you can create a new contact from scratch. I'm going to just create one from scratch. First, I'll put a name and then just add a phone number and email address. One thing to note, you can add multiple phone numbers and multiple email addresses. So that might be a workaround to have more than three emergency contacts if you wanted to. And then once you save your emergency contact, go ahead and select the checkbox right here. And then as you can see, it's added wife to emergency contacts. So basically we've set up the incident detection and assistance in the Garmin Connect app and we're completed. Now all we need to do is go back to our watch. Now when we go back to our watch to access the incident detection and Garmin assistance information, we simply open the menu by holding the up button, then pressing up until we see safety. Select that. And then from here in the safety, we can see incident detection, assistance, and then emergency contacts. Now first I recommend checking the emergency contacts just to see who you have on there. So as you can see, my wife is there as I programmed on my phone. Now when we go back to the safety menu, go into incident detection, and in here we can select which activities will have incident detection. Now there are only four activities that it's compatible with, which is run, trail run, bike, and then walk. But for all of these, you can either turn it on or off so that if a fall is detected during this activity, it'll alert your emergency contacts. Going back to the safety menu, we can check assistance. And as you can see right here, it's telling me to use the assistance. All I need to do is hold down the light button right here for three seconds. So let's go ahead and test that out. From the watch face, I'm just gonna hold down the light button. The control menu will open up and then it will activate the assistance and begin a countdown. So it's starting a five seconds countdown. It's vibrating. Getting my location via GPS. was unable to get my location because I'm indoors. So it's sending the message without that. And then as you can see, it comes up with assistance alert sent. It also says at the top getting location. And then it lets me know that once my location is found, it'll go ahead and send that as well. And as you can see to end assistance, all I need to do is hit the start button and I can select end or end and send message. I'm okay. And I'm getting a call from my wife right now. <laughs> All right, so I have my wife's phone here. She received three text messages from three different numbers. The first was just saying that I triggered the assistance and that the location was not available, so it will send it later. The second message actually included the GPS coordinates as well as a couple links to where she could actually view the location. And then the third text message was me replying that I'm okay and I no longer need any assistance. The text message with the GPS location included two links. The first opened up Google Maps to my exact location, and then the second opened up LiveTrack in Garmin, but the session had expired. I think that was because I canceled the assistance. So now what I want to do is simply test the incident detection by starting a walk activity, and then I'm just going to drop my watch and we'll see what happens. All right, so no incident was detected. Let's see.
So when it comes to the incident detection, I was actually unable to get it to trigger. I tried throwing my watch and falling down while having activities going, and the incident detection never triggered. I did try walking around a little bit and giving it a minute, and then falling down again, but still it never triggered. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, which is probably the case, or if it just doesn't work that well. But at least as you saw, the Garmin Assistant does seem to work pretty well. And I forgot to mention earlier, but my wife did receive emails as well with the same information. So if you put an email address and a phone number, it's going to send all of the messages to both of those different addresses. So that's how you set up and then use incident detection and Garmin Assistance on the Garmin Forerunner 245. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Forerunner 245 tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.